Hello everyone, I am Michaela Kathleen. I thought for today we would do a video of my favorite book covers. I love beautiful book covers. And so here I've got a top 10 list working up to my very favorite. And I do have some series in here that I kind of bunch together. And so yeah, let's get started. Actually, my very first one is a series and that is Warriors The New Prophecy by Aaron Hunter. Um, I just love all of these covers have such beautiful colors. Um, they all have these very beautiful sky colors. And this is Dawn. Then we've also got Midnight with all of these beautiful stars. And a more wintry themed one with Moonrise. And probably my very favorite of them all is Sunset with this beautiful these beautiful sunset colors and these beautiful collection of stars which are of course their warrior ancestors and so yeah just very very beautiful books with very beautiful colors next I have the first book in the land of Elyon series the dark hills divide by Patrick Carmen again I really just love the colors the color of this cover this beautiful bright green and I like how the stone in her hand really seems to be glowing. And I like this art style for the main character. I think this looks exactly how I would imagine her. And I like all the, all the little details. You can see the wall in the background and this key plays an important part. And the stone, of course, and her, her friendly squirrel. <laughs> Another really beautiful cover with beautiful color. For number eight, I have The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Uh, these are retellings of fairy tales, and I think the covers really translate that really well. They all have this beautiful dark blue with splashes of red kind of color scheme. I also really like the font for all the titles. And this is, of course, Cinder. We've also got Scarlet, which is Red Riding Hood, Cress, which is Rapunzel, and finally Winter, which is Snow White. And again, I think this final cover is my favorite. So yeah, just another series with some really beautiful color, color schemes. Number seven on my list is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This is another one with kind of a beautiful sky setup with the beautiful sky colors. I love the little heart symbol here, it's so cute. And kind of the hint of Paris with the kind of faded out Eiffel Tower back here. This one definitely probably has the best cover upgrade. The original cover was not nearly this beautiful. And yeah, it just really translates the romance really well. Number six on my list is Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. This is one of the most muted covers on my list as far as co color scheme, but I think it just really translates the feeling of the story really well. I like how you can just see the Academy off in the background here. This has been one of my favorite books from childhood, and I remember as a kid always kind of trying to figure out like which of the girls each of these were, which of the characters in the story. And yeah, I feel like this cover just really translates the mood and the feeling of the story really well. Number five on my list is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delara. This is another sky cover. I'm very much a sucker for sky covers. I like how it goes from dark nighttime to kind of the more sunsetty time. And I like the really big title going all the way across the cover. Um, I feel like this, this title combined with this cover just really gets you to pick up the book. Number four on my list is The Fairy Dust and the Quest for the Egg by Gail Carson Levine. I really just love all of the artwork in these books. I love the art style. This book also has a really beautiful back cover. And yeah, I like how it just kind of showcases just the artwork. And we've got these lovely kind of character prints of Tinkerbell and Rainy and Prilla. And I don't honestly remember who this is, but she's very beautiful too. 
and yeah these books are just full of beautiful artwork all over the place number three on my list is also a peter pan adaption and that is tiger lily by jody lynn anderson this one i really love the color combination i love this bright orange against the dark background i think this is a very beautiful dress that is I like how it's just focusing in there on the dress. I like how it, you know, sort of almost looks like a tiger lily, and I really love the font for the title here. So yeah, another really beautiful Peter Pan adaption. Number two on my list is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. Uh, both of my final two books here actually have, they're just like a black book with something kind of coming forward against the dark background. I like the way that the title is sort of spaced out across the cover on this one. The crowns are all really beautiful. And yeah, I just think the dark background really speaks to the mystery and intrigue of this book and it kind of makes you want to know what's going on inside. And finally, my number one favorite cover is the Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. Again, this is a black book with just kind of the tower looming out of the darkness here. I really love the font of this one so much. This is my favorite font with the like bright splashed across cursive. And again, I, I like how the tower is sort of looming out of the background. This, the gold and black together really translates the richness and the luxness of the tower and the people living in the tower. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful cover, I feel. So yeah, those were my top 10 favorite book covers. Uh, let me know down below some of your favorite book covers. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely click the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. Thanks!